Hi, I'm Buzz Lagos. Welcome to this week's analysis. Minnesota moved to the top of the table with their 2-0 victory over Jacksonville last Saturday. We'll look at Kevin Venegas' incredible goal, and then we'll preview Minnesota's next opponent, the undefeated Indy 11. Let's look at that monitor. Ruth Benton, George, working around. Now Venegas, thought about it. Ramirez, Venegas. Cuts it to his left. Bending shot! Benegas puts it in the corner and gives Minnesota a lead here in the 16th minute. Here we are. Minnesota's in, the, in about the 15th minute of play. And we see Minnesota comes on with high pressure. Uh, that is, they're going to you know, put numbers up around the ball in their attacking third, uh, trying to force an error. Jacksonville's a skillful team, and they want to try to play out of the back and keep possession. So they're comfortable on the ball, and we see Ruthen gets control of the ball, and he plays it to George, and George plays a first-time pass back to Jerome, but it's kind of a bouncing, hard pass, tough for Jerome to handle. Ideally, Jerome, Jerome would handle that ball and get it wide to his uh, right defender with lots of space, and you know, with the pressure, though, Minnesota's trying to force a mistake, and you see that Jerome doesn't handle it well. So Anya just closes Jerome down quickly, and Jerome doesn't get a great first touch, and it bounces off Anya's leg right into the space for Kevin Venegas. Now, the, the nice thing about Minnesota's high pressure, too, is the numbers are around the ball. There's a good number of Minnesota players in this area. And Maneiris gets in a great position for a quick little one-two pass. Venegas plays. George now committed with a step, giving Venegas a chance to just sprint outside him and get the ball back. And now it looks like he might have been able to get a one-touch shot up, but it runs a little wide. We see that Boehner is slowing Venegas down, playing good defensively, trying to balance between Cruz and Venegas until George gets back to defend. Venegas now sees a one-on-one, -on -one, pulls the ball back, gets his head up, and just sees he got a chance to swing that ball right around. And notice now, even though the option to shoot, of course, has to be considered the best option since he scored, but notice how he's got uh, both Anyar and Pino on that flank. A ball played to Anyar by Venegas. So Anyar can look to get a one-touch shot, draw the defender on him, and the ball runs through his legs to Pino to basically come in the keeper one-on-one -on -one and, and put, a, put a ball away too. So that's, that's good having numbers around the ball, giving Kevin Vegas options, causing the Jacksonville players to be a little hesitant in leaving their position to close Venegas down. And Benigas just technically just hits a wonderful shot with that left foot, upper corner, strength and power, bending ball, no chance for Guiardo. Now let's look at Minnesota's next opponent, Indy 11. They begin to punch back. And lose control. That's a good ball there. Reynoso. Ahead streaking to the center. Adakora gets in the way. Gordon and a shot is turned aside by Agusa Monday. Oh, just, just great. Okay, in, in this uh, situation, we see Indy 11's on the road. They're, they're playing at Fort Lauderdale. And uh, the game is 0 0. It's getting close to the end of the first half. And uh, Nunez makes a strong run with the ball. And you see Reynoso makes a strong run back defensively, knocks the ball away from Nunez, and finds his teammate Palmer. Palmer now initiates the attack by getting the ball to Lareda. Later turns, find, find Mars. Mars, great one-time pass back to Reynoso, creating all this space. And notice how he, with that one-time pass, beats these two midfield players, and he's off to the races to himself as Reynoso now charges forward in this strong counterattack. And the key, the key run by Braun, making that diagonal run, pulling away the central defender, and the ball's played back into Mars. It looks like he lifted his head up and just lost where that ball is going to be. And just couldn't get that focus again to get to it. Because ideally, he did that first time pass to Braun. And it likely would have been a, a goal for Indy 11 in this situation. Instead, the ball just ran by him. And now it's kind of a little one-on-one -on -one battle with uh, Atakawa for that ball. And it just kind of pops out for Gordon to crack a shot. Gordon, again, he's, you see he's made a full commitment to this shot. But if he could have kept some other options open by... Uh, either cutting the ball back okay, from right to left or knocking with his ass of his right foot to find Uwe Parapovich at, at the D. Uh, these are all possibilities when you look back and say these are things he could have chosen to do as opposed to taking a shot, which was easily blocked by the Fort Lauderdale defenders. But a good chance by an Indy 11 team 
which uh, is currently undefeated. And Minnesota's going to have her handful playing this team to try to continue their winning ways. Next week, we'll look at a highlight for Minnesota's match with Indy 11. We'll preview their next opponent, the Tampa Bay Rowdies.